Okay, so to get started, I have here just a cake skewer. You can also use a toothpick, which is what I usually use, but I just happen to have this on hand. I also have just here a mini spatula. If you have just a normal size, that'll work too. I have a small little dish here. I'm going to show you what that's for in a second. Here is my food coloring that I have, and I recommend you use the gel food coloring. This is a Wilton brand. And of course, I've got my buttercream frosting. So I'm going to just take a small scoop of the frosting, and I'm just going to add that to that little small dish that I have. And this is what I do to color large amounts of frosting. So I'm gonna use this, um, like I said, it's a gel food coloring. And if you've never used this stuff before, you'll notice that it's a lot thicker than the liquid food coloring. And it does help sometimes to wear gloves. Uh, it can get on your fingers and obviously stain them. So I'm just gonna take that cake skewer and just take a little bit of that like I said, a toothpick works well too. And then just go ahead and add it to that small dish of frosting. And this is just to get the, the color going uh, for the frosting. So I'm gonna go ahead and just mix that together. Obviously it'll lighten once I add it to the larger batch of frosting, but it's just easier to kind of get the color going this way. So I'm just go ahead and mix this up, make sure I've got it all evenly mixed. I'm just gonna go ahead and add it to the uh, batch of frosting. So I'll make sure you get all of that in there. Great. Once you've added that, you can just go ahead and stir it all together. And you'll notice, obviously, that the color will lighten. Now for this, I use just a light pink frosting. Now, if you don't like the color, my recommendation is to wait and see what the color looks like. It will get darker over time. So after you have stirred it all together, I say let it sit for about 30 minutes and then come back to it and see what you think of the color, if you think it needs um, any more of the gel food coloring added to it or not. And this is another system that I like. It's the Wilton Color Right system. This is another example of the gel food coloring. Another great brand is the AmeriColor, but I like these tubes because they're really easy to apply. You just, just need to do the squeeze bottle versus the toothpick version. So they're a lot neater to use. So I definitely recommend uh, the, the gel bottles like this. It's just much easier for application. And there you go. And that's how to color your frosting.